This is what it looks like at some of our local hospitals. Ambulances stacked up, paramedics saving lives in the field. And the struggle begins with this. Southeast Texas is in the midst of a never before seen hospital bed shortage. Our Courtney Zabowski was first to report that last Friday at six o'clock. She's live now at Houston Methodist in Sugar Land and Courtney, apparently no improvements over the weekend. Chris, we had a record over the weekend, the highest number of new daily COVID cases since day one of the pandemic. And what's even more concerning is the lack of hospital beds. This is what COVID looks like for first responders at Memorial Hermann Northeast, backed up emergency rooms and a rush to hospitals where patients may sit for hours or days waiting for an available bed. These images are from SciFair. We are dreadfully worried about what will happen with children and even college students now that school has reopened. According to Texas Medical Center data, on Sunday, about 9,200 people tested positive. TMC admitted 365 new COVID patients. Right now, there are 2,650 COVID positive patients in hospitals. The problem is, while we have the, the beds on paper, we don't have the nursing staff to actually put those beds to use. As of today, 613 patients are waiting for beds in a 25 county region anchored by Houston. Of those, 278 are COVID positive. An additional 107 patients are waiting for an ICU bed. 45 are COVID positive. We took another sharp turn up after three days of stability. At Houston Methodist Hospital, nearly 200 patients are waiting for beds. Nearly half are COVID positive. Sunday through the day and Sunday night were very rough and we had another very sharp turn upwards. So um, we are dealing once again with some record numbers. If the numbers don't crest soon, I am very concerned about our ability to take care of all of the health care needs of Houston because we'll only be taking care of COVID. Right now in all of Houston Methodist hospitals, including here in Sugar Land, there are 850 COVID positive patients. There is some good news. The governor has sent about 2,000 agency nurses to overloaded hospitals across the state. And by week's end, there could be about 3,500 more. We're live in Sugar Land. Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News. Courtney, now we